all right guys so now i want to do some little bit of changes here instead of the notification i just want to say system performance right i just want to change some things up and with this i just want to choose um i just want to choose this as my icon that's cool okay so that is going to be for the system performance so we're just going to create we're just going to create um the the controls here so this is going to be ctl um system performance just like this and remember that we already have um the size here so let's just copy the size and you know let's just close this since we are done with these guys and with the system performance to just gonna keep this in mind and with the colors i just want to copy this colors then i just put the colors here sorry guys it is raining heavily here so when you hear the background of the rain you know um forgive me for that so now we have this here and what i'm going to do is when we talk of uh, you know the system performance basically we're just going to pick up some information from the computer right something like the ram speed um you know um the ram speed the cpu speed and all that right all those things are going to be matter so um all you're going to do is i'm just going to go to the um privacy section not really the privacy but i'm just going to go to the scanning center and i'll just copy these guys just copy them and bring them here just put them here then um i say monitor um your computer performance okay so i'm just gonna say computer performance just like that i'm just gonna say computer performance so i will just say um what i'm gonna say is um um monitor your computer performance very easily and sim simple we uh, you know helps you to control your pc speed as you um wish to do so so something like this is actually gonna you know work something similar like this so um we can maintain this and how we're gonna do is we're just gonna add um something like a group box or anything related to that something like a group box or some i mean anything related to what we want to do so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to add up um, um a chart right just a chart here then the chart is actually going to be here then i just extend the chart to here then i just say here so from here with a series i just want to add um series here So I just add another series and this first series is actually going to be um, let me use the text instead of um, series one uh, let's see the name instead of series one let me say CPU speed all right and this is actually going to be um, you know RAM speed okay good and you can work within the colors as well any color you want to choose um, you can work within that as well so I'm just gonna click on okay 
then from here I think I will just add up um, a progress bar uh, either a progress indicator or you know something to just show you uh, what is really going on so I'll just add one progress bar here and I add another progress bar here right so first of all I'm just gonna add up you know um, some labels here then I uh, add some text here like that okay then I just copy this guy then I paste it I put it way down here then I just choose this to be maybe 15 then I say RAM speed so um, let's say CPU speed just like that and I just put it way here excellent then I copy this undo that just copy and paste it then I bring this here then instead of the CPU I'm just gonna say RAM okay perfect then I just put this here then I just paste again and this is actually going to be uh, the percentage wise so I'm just gonna say zero percent okay okay so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it one more time then I just put it here excellent job done so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push this little then I push this here just like that then I just add up a panel so I'm just gonna add up a panel just a normal panel and I'll just put this panel here then I set a panel color to blue then I just resize it to be this then I just copy this guy paste it one more time then I put it here and that color also is going to be um, this yellow guy so let me see this good guy right so they you know really detect individually so I'm just gonna build this project again so I just go build and you know build a project and whilst you know this is done you are good to go right okay so let's go back to the form from the system performance basically it is simple right let me just say PC only all right so um with a system perf performance let's just go here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say that um, CTL uh, CTL system performance one dot bring to front just like that then CTL system performance one dot visible equals true I haven't added the um, CTL first so let's go here and let's say CTL performance just drag and drop it here there we go let's just send it back and let's go inside the codes and everything should be fixed now perfect let's save this click on start and let's see how it actually looks like well so I think everything looks great now so we will be counting on um, you know the screen performance here <coughs> it's very very important so um, we will rest here on our next video we're just gonna tackle my account we see how we will be working with the account section then we get to know how to go about until then have a nice day and Microsoft original is out thank you very much